In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up automations to automate your entire marketing operations for your business. So what that means is creating unique content, scheduling it and posting it all with just one press to approve. We've done that exact thing for our business over a number of social media platforms. We've used a variety of tools to set up this automation. So without wasting your time any further, I'm gonna jump in, show you through the automations and show you how we actually got this working. Before we get started, if you're new to this channel and you're not familiar with who I am, my name's Adam. I'm a no-code agency founder. I'm also a top 1% freelancer on Upwork. And I'm a genuine enthusiast of all things no code and AI. When I transitioned from a freelancer to a business, I realized that I wanted to create all sorts of marketing automations because running social media across Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, blogs, all that kind of stuff, it's extremely time consuming and it's expensive. And with the introduction of AI, I've seen all these people talk about how you can automate posting, but it's generally, you can tell it's AI. It's not very unique. It's a quite Quite generic and I don't think it really hits the spot right now. If I see AI generated content on people's LinkedIn's and Twitter's, it tends to turn me off a little bit because it's just not specific enough. I can tell they're not actually putting effort into it. And so I really endeavored on how can we actually create unique content that actually stands out and you can't tell that an AI wrote it. Now, there's a couple different tools which I use to make this possible. The first tool that I use to actually schedule this content is called Social Bee. Now I know there's a lot of tools out there and other ones like include Buffer, later there's a couple others the reason i pick social b is because it has an api that you can actually post content into the platform for me that was a huge deal breaker because i want to set up automations to use ai and all sorts of things to post things into the platform to schedule them and without a service that allows that what you have to do and what a lot of the people doing is they're directly posting from tools like make.com or n8n through the api and the problem with this is that they can't actually review the content if you want to set up an automation to schedule a post and you're setting that up directly in make.com unless you put it in somewhere like Airtable or Google Drive which I don't think is very user friendly and then you have to kind of manually post it from there it's not great so social media allows you to do is it gives you this section in the channel where you can see all of the content that you're looking to post and then you just got to click the one tick toggle approve it and then it posts directly if you're happy with the quality of your AI and you want to just post things directly straight out the gate they do also support that before we go any further social media did not support this video but if you are interested in using that platform and you want to use my referral link, it'll really help me in terms of supporting this channel in the future. So that link is going to be down in the description. Now, let me take you through what my social media account looks like. So if you look at it here, you'll see you can create multiple categories. I only have two categories for now. We've been using this mainly to post uh, shorts across Twitter um, and also to create uh, text posts for LinkedIn and Twitter. So if I go to podcast clips and I'll take you through the make.com automations for in a second, but basically what it does is it allows you to set up. So here's where we post everything from our make.com instance or our automations posts into here and you can see it has draft status. Now the reason for that is often the AI gets things like 85, 90% right, but I want to add my own little twist on it um, or something like that. So I can come in here, I can quickly edit it. I can change it however I like. Um, and then kind of change it to approved and update the post. And that way uh, it'll schedule and post when it needs to get post posted. Um, what this prevents, so I've gone back. What this prevents is I don't want to automatic without at least having someone quickly manually check it. I don't want to let the AI post directly to my socials for obvious reasons in that I don't want anything too AI to, to get posted. Um, and I also like sometimes it gets it wrong or it talks about things that I don't really want to post on my channel. So this is a really good place to just quickly put a human eye over everything that's getting posted. Now, in terms of the schedule, similar to a lot of other uh, tools out there, I've set up these kind of schedules. So I'm posting once a day, maybe twice a day for certain things. You could definitely increase that if you wanted to. Um, and you can kind of view your next posts, key analytics, pretty similar to all of the tools that you're gonna find out there. Uh, but really the main selling point for me on a tool like this is the API access. It means I can set up all these automations in other places and post things directly into these kind of categories um, where I just have to one tick approve and then I can post things all over my social media channels. That's how the posting side of the things work and the API is super powerful. So that's the main reason. It took me a while. I did a lot of scratching around until I found Social B. But the way that that API works is super helpful because when I set things up in make.com and you might be using something like N8N or Zapier, which really have the same function, I can kind of set up all these automations in different places and post all the content to the same spot. So me or a member of the team can 
can quickly scroll over things, give it a human eye and just one touch proof things to get posted at the scheduled time. So next up is how do we actually set up the automations to post them into Social Bee? Now we use make.com. As I said before, there's a variety of different services that you can use, but how do we actually get this content unique and how do we make sure that it's actually answering the questions of our niche? There's a couple different ways to do this and the way that I'm gonna mention definitely is not the only way. So let me know in the comments if you've got a separate kind of system set up. But one thing we identified was actually using Reddit to inspire the posts that we put on Twitter and LinkedIn. And what do I mean by this? So pretty much a thread for everything on Reddit. And so our niche being in the no code development space, we do a lot of work with no code SaaS applications, AI, and all of those kind of things. For example, one of the niches of this channel of my personal brand is people trying to build a no code SaaS application. So what I did was I came to Reddit, I looked at a couple of the threads and I looked at no code SaaS. Now let's look at some of the questions. So what I did was in the scenario, I've set up an RSS feed. So basically what this does is it triggers every 12 hours. It gets all of the new posts in that RSS feed or that no code SAS thread and it runs this scenario. Now what I'm doing is I've got a filter on it and I'm basically, I want everything that has a question mark in it because that means it's a question. So if I go down here and I look, we go, Cultural differences in a diverse team, um, people that are running uh, SaaS teams, they've got a, a team of developers and stuff like that. That could be a relevant question in the niche. Let's look at some of the other questions. No code SaaS project, okay, that's not a great one. Clarity, not super relevant. Here's a good one. How do you balance work and training with a busy schedule? I think that's a really relevant question for anyone in the SaaS space, anyone that's trying to build a business, anyone that's freelancing in our niche, that's an awesome question and something that we definitely wanna post about on our LinkedIn and our Twitter feed. Another one, here's another good one. What's your biggest challenge with remote team communication? Again, another great question and something that's relevant to our niche. So what we've done is we pull all of the threads that have a question mark on here and we set up an AI agent to create a post that's inspired by that Reddit thread. And then we schedule that post in our category within Social Bee and we specify the text and this automatically schedules it within our scheduler tool. Now, you may or may not have worked with OpenAI assistants before. And if you wanna learn about that, there's a million YouTube videos out there on how to set those up for yourself. I'm gonna quickly talk you through the Twitter one that we've created. We create one for every social media platform and how easy it is to actually integrate that into a service like make.com. So if you go to platform.openai and you go to your uh, you, you gotta create an account, you can come through, and then if you come to the playground and the assistance, you can basically create your assistance here. Now, they're pretty simple. Basically, all you do is you set up some instructions, and so our one's kind of got some tips on how best to structure these posts for Twitter. We wanna make them readable. Um, we wanna include maybe one or two hashtags, and so we've kind of built this prompt, which is what we use in the make.com scenario here to actually develop the Twitter prompts. Now. As you go, as you use this more, you, you're likely to find some things that the assistant might not do that well. So you can tweak this. You can also upload some knowledge documents if you want, uh, if, if you want to further improve the accuracy of this assistant. Um, it's a pretty big rabbit hole. You can really go down this as, as far as you want to. Uh, but this is what allows us to build a pretty simple automation that automatically creates Twitter content that is hopefully quite well targeted towards our niche. Now, the other thing is we have this scheduled to run every 12 hours and we have a number of Reddit threads that we follow to generate content. So not every post has to be completely relevant and that's where the human manual check comes in. Maybe one in two is, is accurate and something that we would actually like to post out or maybe one in two is 80% accurate and it takes a human 20 or 30 seconds to quickly jump in there, edit it, change a couple of the words, you know, fix it up, change a hashtag or two and post it. It's still a lot quicker than kind of coming up with our own ideas. And we really use it as like an idea source. Um, and, and honestly, it's pretty good. So this is a quick and easy way where instead of having to manually go on your phone every day and schedule or, or think up of posts on Twitter, do that. Then think up of LinkedIn posts and do that. You can set this up for all your major social media platforms. Um, you can generate the ideas, you can get them posted into the content types on Social Bee. If you only end up using half of those, it's still likely going to save you a lot of time. 
um, and it'll possibly save your marketing team a lot of time and money as well. Now, that's just one of the automations that we have set up. I'll take you through another one really quickly. So another one we have is, I obviously have a YouTube channel, which is probably where you're watching this right now. And sometimes I film podcasts and I like to clip those podcasts up into short form videos so that people can get a taste of what we talked about in that podcast in a 60 second video. So what I do is I have a separate uh, make.com scenario where what happens is somebody edits those videos and clips them up into 60 second or less short form content. So what happens is I have this basically this automation that checks for a Google Drive folder, which we call unprocessed videos or where we put all of the under 60 second short reels that haven't been posted to a social media. We drop them in a folder, which is called unprocessed. What happens from there is this every 15 minutes, this scenario runs and checks if there's any videos in that folder. What it does is it downloads those files, it converts the files and compresses the videos into a really small kind of size so that we can generate a transcript. We use Whisper by GPT to, to basically get the video and actually pull the text that I talk about in that video. Because with that text, we can then send it to a GPT model to be like, hey, this is what I'm talking about in this video. Generate a post caption for the relevant social media platform based on what I'm talking about in the shorts video. And then what it will do is it will schedule the posts on Twitter and LinkedIn and stuff like that for and attach the video for social platforms. So if I'm posting a, a, a 60 second shorts reel about which is the best no code tool to be using in 2025, for example, I can drop that shorts video into a folder then it'll get automatically processed by the GPT, sent through this make.com scenario, a transcript will be generated, it'll generate an, automatically generate a post for my social platforms on that short, and then schedule that post with the video attached in Social B through here. And then what happens is it gets moved to the processed Google Drive folder so that this, this automation doesn't run every single time. So that's another example of how something like, if you're, if you're a company that's posting two, three short across all these different social media platforms every single day. And automation like this is going to save you a lot of time. And again, it might not be 100% accurate, but if it's 80% accurate, you're already saving you and your marketing team some time in getting this set up. Those are two automations. There's a million other ones out there. And what I've actually discovered and we played around with as well is AI generated talking head videos and you can actually clone yourself and generate talking head videos using AI. And you can actually set up an automation to generate talking headed videos of your yourself all within one click using this exact same process. Now we tested that a couple times. We haven't pushed that into mass production because I think the AI videos, they're good. They're still a little bit repetitive. I'm still actively considering whether or not to go down that path a little bit further, but I am kind of thinking this natural content, whilst it takes a lot longer to create at this stage, I still think people value it more than AI talking head videos, but your business might see a real use case of creating, you know, four, five, six AI avatars, sending them scripts through a similar scenario like this based on some niches and then generating automated AI talking head videos, which I think more digestible by your audience. People are a lot more likely to watch shorts videos. If you're interested, I'm happy to build another video on how exactly you can create automatic AI shorts in one click using a similar process to what we've talked about here. Now that pretty much sums up how we've automated a lot of our social media posting. If you're someone that's looking to automate a lot of your business's social media posting, uh, you might be manually scheduling or even going into each individual social media app and scheduling posts through there and you want to save a lot of time, I think you're going to find this video extremely useful. If you're interested in learning more about agency management, no code and AI or freelancing, I'd highly recommend taking a look at this channel or joining our completely free school community in the link below. I hope you got a lot out of this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.